In today's video, I'm going to be showing you four new plugins in Cubase 11 Pro. Hi guys, my name is Che. I make music production tutorials on YouTube in Cubase and FL Studio. Make sure you subscribe and click the post notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. So the first plugin on the list is Frequency. So the plugin frequency is not really new to Cubase 11. It was in previous version of Cubase. And the reason why I've included it here is because there's been a number of additions that has been done to this plugin and they're now calling it frequency 2. The thing that has been done with this plugin is that they've introduced the dynamic option where you can make these bands dynamic. Here you can adjust the ratio, the attack and so on. The next plugin we're going to look at is the imager. It goes up to four bands. You can control number of bands you want right here. You can have one, two, three, or four bands. And it gives you the ability to change the stereo width of each band. Let's say you want to widen a little bit of your high ends. You can come here. The third plugin we're going to look at is called Supervision. So this plugin right here can help you monitor the level of your mix just like we do with the MV meter. For those of you that have been watching my videos, you can also set it to loudness. It will show you true peak LUFS to show you all those values that you need. You just need to change from here. So with this plugin, you can monitor a lot of things here. So you guys can try it out and see how it works. For those of you that are planning to upgrade to Cube, base 11 pro and the last plugin we'll look at is called squasher some kind of a multi-band compressor which uses upward and downward compression so this can only go up to three bands you can reduce to two one or three <laughs> This is not a very detailed tutorial on how to use these plugins. It's basically just an introduction. I decided that I show you guys some of the new plugins in Cubase because you might be using Cubase 11 Pro and you don't even know that you have some new plugins in there. So these are the plugins that I wanted to share with you guys. So thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at jmg let's interact there see you in my next video peace